Hello, my beautiful friends. This is Crystal Rose Insights here to do the special Valentine's Day reading for Pisces. And um, you may notice my setup is different. Uh, I have had to get up off of the floor where I used to always do my readings, but I've been doing so many that I can't even, my knees can't handle it anymore. <laughs> so I had to create this little makeshift um, desk here. So it is a different setup that I've done before. So, um, yeah, so we are going to take a look at the energies around Pisces going into this Valentine's Day. And um, I'm going to look at what energies are coming through, what messages are coming through for Pisces right now. And again, this is a general reading. So um, with all my readings, there's many of you watching. So not every message is going to apply to you, and that's totally okay. I do have the intention that any person that is guided to watch any of my videos will get one clear message that is specific for them. So as with anything, if it makes sense to you, great. It's a message intended for you. If it doesn't make any sense for you at all, it's meant for somebody else. So with that, um, if you do want a private reading, my information is going to be down below because that is the way to get really specific on the energies around you and your situation and your questions and all that. So that said, um, as you guys know, I always start all my readings with a crystal, and this is a beautiful rose quartz that one of my soul sisters gifted me, and it showed up in the mail to me last week. It was so beautiful, and of course, this being a love reading, Valentine's Day time, of course, it's the one that wants to be here to support the energies. So actually, I'm going to put it over here. So I've already um, called in my guides, ascended masters, archangels beings of light here for the highest good of all and what I would also say is that um, sometimes this is going to be the sun sign but it sometimes it's important to, it's actually definitely very important to watch the readings for your rising sign your moon sign as well as your Venus sign when it comes to love because there are other messages in those videos that will be appropriate for you too because it's not just our sun sign energies that influence us. So definitely check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign videos as well. To get some additional messages. Okay, so what is coming up for Pisces for Valentine's Day time frame? Okay, so we get the five of fire the world. Ooh, and an awakening. Okay. So right off the bat, we've got two major arcanas here. But actually, let me pull the card at the bottom of the deck. And we get the two of air. So this is the overall theme for the reading here. So the two of air is an energy about needing to make a decision and being unwilling or unable to make a choice. This is sometimes an energy of a stalemate, it can also be a little bit of like, I like to think of this card as the ostrich energy, like you pretend there's not, not a problem, so you just stick your head in the sand and forget about it because you just don't feel like dealing with it. So there's something going on right now with Pisces that relates to that energy. So first we have the Five of Fire card. So this is what's been going on kind of leading up to this point, um, the energies leading up to right now, is the Five of Fire, which is about... You've got a lot going on and you've got different like competing goals. There's the energy of having a lot of different irons in the fire and they're kind of clashing with each other is what I'm hearing from spirit. So it's like there's um, competing priorities. Maybe one thing doesn't like maybe you're wanting like a relationship and you're traveling all the time with your career. Maybe there's some sort of energy around like not knowing which one to prioritize is what I'm hearing. So the five energy is a very challenging energy. It is the energy where you're going through some challenges, some things happening in your life that aren't necessarily fun to go to, go through, but they are intended to, um, at the end of the day, it ends up being something that's very spiritually important for you. So if you've been going through some stuff, it's not super fun. Maybe there's different aspects of your life. This could be in your love life, could be in career, could be in family, could be in friendships, whatever it may be. Um, and it could be a variety, like a combination of all those things. But it has been a bit of a trying time for you. But what's beautiful is the current energy here for you is the Wheel of Fortune, a major arcana. 
So this is this is feeling like there's there's been the stuff going on, but then the wheel of fortune is here to tell you that all of these competing things are all going to fall into place. The wheel of fortune is balanced. It's about a time of you know things moving forward positively. You know, if you've been in a stuck place, all of a sudden things are going to start moving forward. Good luck is on your side. And um, the fact that it's a 10 is an energy of completion. Okay, so it's the completion of a cycle. And the um, so I like this card following this one for you, Pisces, because this is saying that this all the stuff that's been kind of bugging you and con like confusing and bothersome and all of that is actually st is starting to turn around for you. And because this is a very spiritual, like the major arcana indicates a much more spiritual message. Like in your life, you've been having this in the, in the, you know, in your physical reality, but in your spiritual life, the wheel is happening. It's all coming together for a time of positive change and telling you that things are going to come back in balance. Because what's coming next here for you is another beautiful card, which is the awakening card. This is a major arcana. This is the hanged man in traditional tarot. So this is the energy about having, like, needing to look at things from a different perspective. It's like, you know when you have those times in your life where you're completely, like, everything's happening and you're like, why is this all going on and I, I don't get it or what am I needing to learn here or why is this happening? It's, this is about taking a temporary pause and, like, taking a standstill and, and realizing that you need to look at things from a different perspective. You know, maybe that's shifting out of old patterns of thinking. Maybe it's shifting out of limiting beliefs or relationships or things that just aren't like you're kind of reevaluating is what I'm hearing and what's beautiful about this is it's an awakening and in this deck it's called the awakening card and um, it's about taking a look at things and, and getting a broader perspective on what is going on in your reality so I love that those are coming through because through this fire is coming this beautiful fortune as well as an awakening because once we start to understand the meaning of our suffering or our challenges, then it brings them to light and then it also can expand our awareness and our consciousness. So these are the lessons of life going on right now, Pisces, that are going to be very important for you to, um, to go through because it's only going to be better down the road and it, this is all going to be worth it. I know it's like very cliche, but it is true and that's what happens very in a spiritual plane. So now we're going to get some additional cards and, and, draw, and get more information about the storyline that we've started here. And so I'm going to use the Energy Oracle cards to get more deeper into this storyline and get some additional messages of why these are coming up. And it's so funny because with this new setup... <laughs> I'm sitting so much lower and my shuffling is like completely different because my arms are higher up. I'm so used to doing them way low down and so I'm shuffling like a dope, but it's okay because it doesn't matter. Spirit gets it. <laughs> so I'm going to pull three cards. Oops, that's just jumping out. Oh, here we go. The indecision card jumped out. I'm going to pull two more and then we'll get into this. Additional message about the wheel, please. Ooh, man holding a coin. And one more about the awakening, please. Ooh, door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse. So if you've seen any of my videos in this deck, I don't read reversals, but in this deck I do. I know it's confusing, but it's okay. That's how it, that's how it goes. So this five of, when this uh, indecision five of fire is coming up, if I'm getting the message that it's very much, you're, you have all these different um, priorities in your life, things going on, and you're, you're not sure which one to focus on or which one's more important, or you're in this energy of like, I, got, I have to figure out what to prioritize, otherwise I'm going to go crazy. And so this is about really juggling the need to, to, um, to get more clarity and to get more focus in this five of fire energy. It's like, I can't do all of it. I guess something's going to have to like, something's going to have to fall to the wayside or get, get deprioritized. And this is just about being at that crossroads. This is saying that this five of fire is causing you to go. I don't know which, I don't know which end is up and which one's the right choice to make. But the eight is here, which is obviously when you make this decision, it is going to be an abundant one for you. The uh, energy of abundance is here. 
So it feels like whatever is going on as you move through this indecision, it's going to be abundant because remember, again, uh, this is again confirming this energy of the wheel of fortune things turning for the better here is, is showing up here too with the eight okay so there's a consistent message here saying if you you know once you do make that you're feeling indecision right now you don't know which way to go but it's all good it's all going to be abundant for you because what's interesting here is we get the man holding a coin so there could be the abundance and the and the indecision could be around career um it could be around career, but it also, again, being a general reading, has a few different interpretations in the energies. It could also be, a, some of you watching, maybe having somebody, who a man who's coming to make you an offer of love, who's offering you stability and kindness and groundedness. Um, the coin energy is really the material world energy of, like, home, finances, career, stability. It can often indicate... A happy stable family life too so it ha could have a couple different meanings but it also could very well mean that there's a new career opportunity for you which is why you're you're having some indecision um, but it also could mean again I'm hearing from spirit for some of you it could mean there's more than one person in the picture that you're you've got your eye on or maybe you've been dating someone and you have an interest in somebody else it's not too serious yet in terms of your dating but like you're not sure which way to go. And so if you're in a situation where you're debating about maybe ending a relationship or you're not sure, and there, this is saying that there is potentially someone coming through for that. So again, a few different scenarios being a general reading. However, um, whatever it is, it is going to be uh, a positive, abundant time for you. It's going to be good fortune. There's really good energies here. So here's what we're having. So this is what's going on too is, you know, from here moving a little bit forward, like what's likely to come in the, in the terms of the near future, in terms of the energies. In this awakening, we have the door to personal healing and happiness. So this is a card about, this is all, the door's opening. So you've got this window coming in, opening to a brighter and better, more beautiful, happy, healthy world. So this feels like you're going through a transition time of really awakening. Uh, of course, as awakening as I'm, this card is here, but that's what I'm hearing from spirit. And then I look down, I'm like, yeah, well, the awakening card is here. <laughs> Thank you for reaffirming that. Um, so the door to personal healing and happiness is here, but it is in the reverse um, in this position, which only means that, so the energies are here. It just means that there's still more work that needs to be done um, on a growth phase there's something kind of blocking it maybe a temporary delay in this coming forward but that is again so here's the beautiful this is how spirit works it is amazing we've got the awakening which is about a temporary delay and this happiness is here but it, you're in a temporary delay because it's in the reverse so it's just reaffirming that this temporary delay this 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 place of like being in this uh mushy middle area is actually a very good thing for you so coming forward here this is th there may be a time of um delays and things happening moving forward that you might like but don't worry because it's all happening in divine timing so i think that's beautiful all right so now we're going to pull some more messages and get even more clarity on these but it's feeling very um certainly certainly very positive in terms of the direction it's going so let's see what else we have here for Pisces. What's another message on this five of fire and indecision? What other message spirit do you have about this? Dreams coming true. Oh my gosh, the wheel dreams. I mean, okay. Dreams coming true. We're going to go into what these mean in a second. Actually, I'm just going. So dreams coming true here. It's again saying that this is this indecision, this five of fire. This is a spiritual turning point for you, Pisces, because dreams are coming true. And what this is saying is that you need to open up to receive the blessings from the divine because you might be trying to like make something happen for something to happen, not for something to happen, but like take action to move something forward. Whether, again, that be the decision, trying to figure this out. But this is saying that if you open up to the divine, maybe you need to meditate, maybe you need to connect to your heart space, whatever it is, 
this is time to sit back, not sit back, like kind of sit back energetically and let things come to you and they may these blessings might come in different forms than you expect because remember the universe and, and the divine has a plan for you that oftentimes is even better than you would ever imagine but sometimes we can block it by just you know getting in our heads and trying to push something you know you try to push you can't push a noodle right you can't push a noodle but if you're pulling a rope like it'll go with you so it's like the universe is wanting you to is um, wanting you to be pulled by it is what I just heard so that's why this is here you're in this this pause in this indecision but it is happening okay oh this is so good Pisces wow all right so more information on the ooh, here we go and we get the major arcana of the control and I always have to triple check because all these decks are different um, and they sometimes will switch up the numbers because they're trying to be all creative right but this is the oh yeah the, so this is the strength card so this is about quest under uh, sorry not this is about um, accepting having compassion patience and confidence and it's really an energy of mastering so um, so this is an energy of Like the higher self being the master of the smaller self, the ego self. See, this is your higher self, the divine. The divine has the knowledge of the universe and the divine and that energy of being able to have everything and be and do everything. Um, but the, it's about like giving, taming the, the beast inside. Okay. So a lot of times in the, in the, this and this card it's like the balance between the dance between your spiritual self and your and your primal self okay so when this is coming here this is saying not to let your emotions get the best of you okay don't let don't let like frustration or emotions like carry you away this is a time right now this energy this wheel of fortune this good things coming being offered to you is also going to be important to um, don't be too quick to act speak or decide okay this is about you learning that maybe the first option coming your way is not the right one and don't make your decisions out of fear is what I'm hearing from spirit so don't there's something about in this it's like you want this five of fire energy to go away because it's uncomfortable and you don't like it and it's just you just want to have like move forward but this is saying like they like, chill out for a second I know you don't like this however this is important for you because again this is all here so I feel like there's that that message of, of don't be too hasty is what I heard because the wheel, like, good things are happening, divine timing, but like the divine, like, um, this divine plan is moving forward in a positive direction. It's all unfolding as it should. So what's another message, please, about this awakening and the door to healing and personal happiness? Oh my gosh, we get manifest, another major arcana. So Pisces, you've got four major arcanas here out of 10, okay? So this is the manifest card. This is the magician card. And so this is a card about, this is time for you to really understand that you have the ability to manifest and create your destiny and, and create, your, create your experience. And this is what this spiritual awakening is about for you. This is about really under, because we've all heard about the law of attraction, the law of vibration, but it's a universal principle that works whether you actually work it or not. Even if you're complete, like gravity, you can not, not be aware of gravity, but it's still having an impact on your body. It's the same thing. So this spiritual awakening is about controlling, you know, what you're focusing on. When you're in the five of fire energy, it's easy to focus on what's going wrong or what's not working and like focus on that but spirit is asking you Pisces right now to really focus on what's good and what you want because the manifesting energy is here for you so this is all teeing you up 
in this awakening process to have personal healing, happiness, because you're going to realize that you're not at the mercy of what's coming at you. You actually have the ability, the ability to manifest. Wow, so this is a pivotal time for you, Pisces. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. All right, guys. So, oh, I forgot to, so at the beginning I was going to say something I completely forgot. So, Pisces, um, I am starting something new on my channel, and it's I'm super excited about it. So, this is the reading for you for this Valentine's Day. However, if this reading is resonating for you and you're listening to it going, oh, my gosh, that's my life. I'm actually going to go deeper into this spread right now. I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to start going more in depth. I'm going to go in depth on more messages and the energies. But here's what I'm going to do in that next video. This is going to be on my Vimeo channel. So this is going to be um, a separate video I put there for those of you where this is like, oh my gosh, I want to hear more because this is what the energies are. But I'm going to go next into more messages coming through, what you're here to learn, what you're here to heal, what you need to heal in order to get this awakening, beautiful energy happening, and advice. We're going to get advice from spirit. We're going to get advice from archangels, um, ascended masters. We're going to get some, like, because this is all about empowering you, right? This is about your personal growth journey. So the next video is going to go a lot more in depth on that, and that will be available on demand on my Vimeo channel. So I'll put the links down below. So if you want to join me over there, that'd be great because I'm going to go more in on what this is all meaning for you. Um, and if you don't, that's fine. I know this is a lot of information I just shared. But um, yes, so over there for less than $5, you can actually watch another, probably another 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to go more into this. So um, do check that out over there. And in the meantime, I'm excited for you. It's been my honor to do this for you. If you would like a private reading, please do reach out to me. Um, and all the information will be down below as well. And I am currently running a Valentine's Day special, which is also on my site, um, in the information down below. So anyway, enough of that talking. It's been my honor to do this for you, Pisces. And um, until next time, in abundant love always. Bye.